yeah. So let's get started here. It's going to be a quick one. Um, Cliff High, actually, I did go on Instagram and I did do a video, a quick, you know, 60 second video on Instagram uh, telling you guys the latest about Cliff High. Uh, I'm, uh, on Instagram, it's currency365. So you guys can follow me there on Instagram. I will be doing quick videos, one minute videos on there. Uh, you know, when if I feel like something is important, I will let you guys know on Instagram. All right. So, um, so Cliff High has here that. Um, that the uh, latest data sets uh, have Bitcoin hitting, uh, reaching 10,000 by January 1. Now remember, we also have data sets reaching, uh, Bitcoin reaching 13,000 by March. That could be pushed up now, okay? Um, so we, we could be at 15,000 by March. We, do, we don't know, but right now the data sets have it, Bitcoin hitting 10,000 by 1118, okay? Um, so you should be holding Bitcoin, as we always say, you should be holding Bitcoin for the Segwit 2X. And if you're not in Bitcoin, you better be in like BitConnect because that is correlation with Bitcoin, right? So you either you're holding BitConnect tokens or you're holding Bitcoin, right? Because, and I, and, and me personally, uh, if you're not going to be lending to the, to on um, BitConnect, then you need to be holding Bitcoin, right? Um, and of course, there's other coins that people are loved and want to hold um, that are going to do very well. Like I told you guys, I believe NEO, OmisoGo, um, Litecoin are going to do very well in 2018, including Dash. Um, and those types of those those coins are going to and Ethereum as, as well, right? Uh, those those coins are going to do very well. Let me repeat that: OmisoGo, NEO. Uh, Litecoin, Dash, and Ethereum. If you're holding those coins as long with Bitcoin and maybe have some BitConnect and Regal coin and stuff like that from the lending platforms, cool. If you got the coins from the lending platforms and you're going to be doing your uh, lending to the bots, that's fine. And then uh, outside of that, if you're holding mostly Bitcoin, you know, and then you have uh, maybe 20% into Litecoin, Ethereum, uh, Dash, uh, Omiso Go, and NEO, you're, you're, you're in great shape for next year, right? So that's, that's basically what we want we want everybody ready to go for next year because next year cryptocurrency uh, space is going to hit one percent by the summer and and you can already know if the cryptocurrency is going to hit one percent of the world next by next summer a lot of money's coming in especially after tax season you saw how quickly things rose after tax season last year or this year actually um, so you, you're going to expect the same thing next year when people have a lot of free money Okay, and also another thing is the reason why we might see ten thousand by the end of the year is because a lot of people are going to get more free money here very soon in the next two weeks with Segwit two X, uh, and so they're going to be able to use that free money to buy back into Bitcoin and buy Ethereum and buy Litecoin and buy Omiso Go and buy Neo, right? So you're going to have all these people with a lot of free money pouring it back into bitcoin and into uh into other cryptocurrencies okay so that's also going to pump the markets up as well uh and and bring bitcoin into uh ten thousand so as you guys can see here and, and I, while i was talking hopefully you guys already read all this while i was talking that's why i usually go on my little spat there so you guys can go ahead and read it while i'm talking but anyways if you didn't um he says here that um uh, 6888 is going to be coming up soon, and then um, from there, we'll probably go higher. Um, it says working on the, uh, on the data sets. He says uh, uh, working on the data sets. Uh, reconciliation shows 40% drop in Bitcoin. Language has manifested. Uh, likely no repeat at 6888. Okay, so he's saying that that 40% that drop has already happened. Uh, or it's already manifested itself. So now when we hit 6888A, there probably won't be an, another huge drop. Uh, it's probably going to continue. Uh, it's going to probably stay around that range and then continue higher to the 10,000 mark. So we'll see if that happens or not. Uh, it all depends on the charts, right? At the time that we're, if we're overbought at 6888, then I think we will, we will see a little bit of a correction and then maybe, uh, and then stabilize and then continue up. But it all depends on when we hit 6888 and is it at the SegWit event and then everybody dumpster SegWit 2X for Bitcoin again, that will push it higher regardless if we're overbought or not. That would push the price even higher, right? Um, so, yeah, so that's where we're at right there from Cliff High. And let's actually get into uh, the charts and then we'll look at coin market caps and all the coins that we didn't look at. So here's Bitcoin sitting in here. Okay, spinning top here. 
Um, so we'll see how how we'll see how this plays out. You can see there's a spinning top here, and then we we actually went bearish for a couple of days, and then we then we caught ourselves and then started back up, and then there's the breakout here. So um, yeah, so we'll see how this candle plays out. Uh, we still got some couple of hours before the new candle comes in. So right now we have a spinning top bearish candle. So we'll see how this plays out, and you know it could we could play out where we uh spin here and then and then come down a little bit and and then go and then continue higher or we could finish this up at the top and then continue higher i don't know so we'll see how this plays out okay right now we have a bearish candle but that can change if people watch the video or see what cliff high is talking about and people start buying and then we change the candle to a bullish candle right right now we had a spinning top candle uh, which is a bearish candle. So let, we'll see how to, how it plays out. The last couple of weeks, Bitcoin has been actually, um, you know, dropping during middle of the week and then getting, then, then picking itself back up. So that's been the, that's been the uh, theme lately. So you have here a Stratus. We told you guys that Stratus uh, was probably going to make a run up here to this um, 30 day moving average and then test it. And, you know, so we, there was the bottom it was in and there's the breakout there. Okay, so um, and he said we had to see it break out, or it was going to continue to go lower, and so it did break out after I yelled at it. Remember, I was yelling at Stratus to get his act to get their act together, and the bulls heard me loud and clear, and they got their act together and they ran it up, and now it's coming back down. So what we want to see it do is not we don't want to see it pat go past um, this mark right here, you know, five eight seven zero three. If it passes that, then most likely it's going to come all the way back down. 100% retrace and then it's got to hold and then it's got to hold this level if not it's going to go even lower okay so we'll see how that plays out uh, ethereum classic versus bitcoin uh almost at 100% and and look we we it's in the power zone almost 100% and it's not moving so that's a concern that's a big concern you know you run all the way up here and you're not really moving much from the bottom here you know you're basically staying the same so and you're already in the power zone so hopefully this thing runs back up here at least to make people some money but if, if not if it just sticks right here it's going to tank it's going to go create a new low and continue downwards um let's look at uh bit shares bit shares same thing and speaking of um bit shares and, and uh and steam and stuff i my account on steam is has been uh unlocked uh or unblacklisted so i am no longer blacklisted from steam i can now post and actually make money on steam now <laughs> okay um so uh and i don't have that cheetah bot uh coming on and tough to let me that my you know warning warning about this person right so my account, uh, Patricia got my account back to, together on on Steemit, so I will be posting this video and other videos on Steemit, and uh, and yeah, so, uh, so my account's back to normal on Steemit, so I'll be able to make a, a one cent, three cents, five cent. I think Champagne uh, hooked me up with some uh, with some Steem. I think he gave me five Steem today. So, uh, but anyways, let's continue here. Uh, I know a lot of people are powering. I'm also powering down on Steemit right now. So I am powering down and collecting my Steam. Uh, and I know a whole bunch. I think Craig is Craig Grant's doing the same thing. I'm not, I haven't seen Trayvon on Steemit in a while. So I'm not sure if I did ask him that question. I'm not sure if he's going to answer it or not. But uh, yeah, a lot of people are powering down on Steemit because um, the robots are are messing with us and also the uh, some other whales I guess are not liking uh, people talk about BitConnect or any of the uh, any of the lending platforms that have made people a lots of money um, so I'm not sure what's going on with that okay so anyways it is what it is you would think decentralized wouldn't be such a problem but it's more of a problem than actually centralized unfortunately right so maybe I need to maybe instead of complaining uh, Craig and others like myself, we, 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 you know, create your own steamant, right? Create your own steamant uh, website, you know what I mean? A decentralized site where you can post whatever, you, people can post whatever they want, get credit for it, downvote, upvote, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't even put a downvote on it. I will just put only upvotes, right? Just keep it positive. So just put an upvote, post what you want, put an upvote on it, and uh, make money. That's what I would do, you know what I mean? It uh, doesn't matter what it is. Just, you know what I mean? If people like it, they'll, they'll, if they don't like it, then they don't, they won't like it. You know, they won't upvote it. 
Um, Dash is sitting here, and uh, you can see there Dash is right sitting right on the line. So sitting right on the line there of support, and if it holds that, that's a good sign. If it does hold, and it's going to continue, it's going to go higher. Um, but if it if it falls below here, we're going lower until probably after Segwit 2x. I told you guys look back, look back at Dash. Uh, at this sake with 2x who is calling me okay this is the second time I've gotten a call when I'm when I'm uh, live okay um let's uh I think people know that I'm going live and they want to interrupt so I, I'm not sure I think that's kind of disrespectful right so anyway, anyways uh so let's look at Monero um Monero is another good one to hold for next year as well. After Segwit, you might want to hold some Monero as well, especially at these prices, right? So, um, so you got here Monero also holding that support line nicely there. We don't want to see it break that support line. Hold that steady and just bounce off of that and then go higher uh, and then challenge this 30-day moving average there. Um, ETH on Bit, and I don't want to look on BT. I don't want to look at ETH on that. I want to look at ETH against the USD, um, because most of you guys hold ETH on Coinbase. You guys don't hold it on these other platforms, so I, I like to use it against uh the USD instead of Bitcoin. Nothing against Bitcoin looks well, right? But it, against the US dollar, Bit, Ethereum looks healthy. Looks like a big massive run is coming, and uh, that's a good sign. I'll hold some ETH. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, I did dump all my ETH, <laughs> but then I got some, so somebody sent some ETH, uh, so I'm not sure if it was because of, her. well, how did I get that ETH? I don't know, either one of you guys sent me some ETH or, or, and shout out that that was you or somebody uh, sent it to me through, uh, re, uh, doing a review or something like that, I don't know, okay, so anyways, I got some ETH, <laughs> So I'm going to hold it here as this nice run happens. Uh, I'm not going to sell this ETH because I think ETH is getting ready to run. It has, um, they, they have some conference, Def, uh, the DEF CON conference is coming up, I think, on Wednesday, right? Uh, Ethereal Summit just happened. Uh, I'll be posting more Omar's Ethereal Summit videos on both channels uh, tomorrow. Okay, I don't want to flood, uh, you know, his videos on my channel, so I'm posting one a day on both channels, but I'm going to post two, uh, one tomorrow on both channels as well. He does more interviews. I'm going to post all the interviews until they're all completed, right? And then they have the conference coming up for Ethereum. There's another conference for Ethereum coming up, and a whole bunch of other events for Ethereum is coming up. It's going to, uh, big news is probably going to happen as well. So expect Ethereum to make a nice double here, uh, maybe 600 by the end by the close of the year if bitcoin is going to ten thousand, then we got to expect ethereum to go to at least 600 right i i you know i'm looking for 500 but I, I wouldn't be surprised if it doubled from 300 to 600 for ethereum by the end of the year uh on that momentum with bitcoin and following bitcoin okay so you can see by you know it's ready to break out uh against the u.s dollar and go higher you know and create that higher high uh so yeah, I'm holding, and I'm going to hold here. You can see that we got a clear buy signal here, and uh, coming up, and once it's in the power zone, I think we'd probably be around 450, 500 bucks if we can get there. Uh, looks like, you know, on this map right here, looks like we're going to hit this power zone at about 340, 350, but you never know. Um, and then um, what, let's go to Omiso Go. And Omiso Gold, uh, Omiso Gold. <laughs> okay, so we broke support here on that. We didn't break support in the wick yet. Okay, so this wick still holds support here. We don't want to break that. And now we're just holding steady here on this line. At some point, we got to turn, we got to get a buy signal here and turn this around uh, for Omiso Gold. We, we know news is going to probably be the catalyst of this you know china news or some type of china news happened Amisa misa gold went down okay so so we have china's talking about that they're going to uh you know start trading again on bitcoin and stuff and and no one and Amisa misa gold did not go up so um we're gonna need some um we're gonna either need it to go back to 40 and then re and then and then get another buy signal and go up and then try to go higher than this, which will hit us right here on the 30-day moving average. Um, but we need some news. Vitalik, we need some news, brother. <laughs> I mean, 
It's a sitting duck right now for a miso go. And maybe people are going, well, you know what? It's a good chance for me just to continue to buy and buy and buy and buy. Yeah, just like Litecoin, right? Litecoin's in a position where it's been where you can just continue to load and load and load if you're really uh, bullish on Litecoin long term, which we are, right? So it's a giving us time to load if you wanted to load. But the problem with that is that Bitcoin is what everybody wants to load, right? Because Bitcoin is in the position where it's going to 10,000. We know it's going to 10,000 without a shadow of a doubt. And we know the future of Bitcoin is bright to 100,000. So, you know, a lot of people are thinking, why would I load anything else when I know Bitcoin is going to 10,000 and then it's obvious Bitcoin is going to be at 20,000 next year as well. And then it's going to 100,000. Right. So that's guaranteed. Most almost guaranteed. Right. So, you know, what, what is the point of loading other things? And and it's going to be forking and we're going to get more uh, dividends and bonuses. So, you know, and that's probably what's hurting Amisa Go because people were like Amisa Go or Bitcoin. I guess I'll stick with Bitcoin. And then, of course, Amisa Go is going to have to attract more people by putting out the big news. Right. And so the big news is going to be either Coinbase or some type of deal with Google, or some type of deal with, you know, nationwide deal with McDonald's. I know they have some type of deal with McDonald's um, and they have something in the works with Google or something like that. But they have to they got they got to bring things out. Right. And Vitalik is usually good on that. Right. Um, lately, Vitalik has been like, uh, you know, a lot of things have been delayed on the on Vitalik's uh, board. So. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, and I'm and I and I, t and I like I said before, I rather see it after the segment. Don't bring it out now because there's no buzz right now. Everybody's in Bitcoin. Bring it out after segment is over, and then bring out the big news. And I think that's what it's gonna. The data sets have the big news coming out for Omisa Go end of uh be between the end of uh november to the end of the around mid to late december so that's the perfect time right uh to make a massive run with big news okay and i'm hoping it's coinbase but i could be completely wrong it could be something else it could be a massive deal with with uh google or something like that um or some type of bank or something i don't know uh digibuy sitting there at, at 152 let me look at digibuy to see if it has a buy signal on nope it's over it has an actual sell signal on it right there overbought sell signals in for digibuy um and it's not moving as you can see here but it is forming a nice channel so maybe um if this can come back to 80 and then uh give us another buy signal we'll probably see a higher high right up here to 212 um and then let's look at litecoin to wrap this up i know i didn't look at neo and ad you guys are gonna be like look at neo and <laughs> okay okay i can hear you guys screaming already okay so you have your you have your low here and it was bought up by the by the bulls and then here's your high sitting at the, the 50 and then here is your I'm not going to really say this is a higher low, but it is a higher low from this wick, not the candle. It's a lower low from the candle, but from the wick, it's a higher low. So I guess if you want to consider this as a higher low, okay, you know, but I would I rather had this the higher low and then breakout coming, right? So you have the 30-day moving average about to cross underneath uh, the 50-day moving average. So that might be, you know, um, that's actually bearish, right? <laughs> 50 wait a minute the 50 yeah that's bearish right the 50 the 30 crossing crossing over uh the uh 50 is bearish right that's a bearish move you can see the the uh the, the rsi is coming down so it's a bearish move and that's probably why the the, the uh the price is being forced down because this is a bearish move when the 30-day moving average crosses the 50 that give us a bearish can that, that give us a bearish chart okay uh, well, we want the 50 to stay below um, the, uh, you know, the, the 30 and the 20 day moving averages, right? So bearish charts coming in and uh, I'm not sure, maybe maybe uh, this stays stable or it goes a little bit lower and then it corrects itself. OK, but this tells you that a correction is coming, though, at least at least, you know, because right here, you know, it was, you know, it's it's going to happen, you know, but it, there's no correction coming. So now we're about to see this happen. So that means a correction is going to come sometime in the next two weeks. We're going to see a correction, a big correction, actually, on NEO. And that's right after SegWit, right? <laughs> right after SegWit. I think you're going to see a massive correction on NEO uh, back to 50. Uh, ADEX, I'm running, I'm over time. I'm over my time, guys. Uh, ADEX, 
holding that higher low that's a good sign it's stronger than any on the chart right now but you can see it's about to also do the same thing it's about to give us that bearish look and we might we might have to hold here and then wait for that to turn and then we, we explode up uh, by mid November you should see ADEX and NEO explode in my opinion um so what's the other one Litecoin on the USD right where's Litecoin though Litecoin BT there it is Litecoin USD didn't we already talk about Litecoin no we didn't okay so Litecoin on the USD um yes yeah, breaking it looks like it's breaking out buy signal is in uh you know so and we're oversold so oversold buy signal uh we just broke the 20 right here so on the blue and we need the orange to break it as well to confirm it you know clearly that we're going higher and uh, i think this next move um you know, I, I don't know if we're going to see massive gains on this next move because of Segwit2x. People are not going to be really in Litecoin. But remember, Litecoin's supposed to be 10% of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is sitting at um, 6114. So Litecoin should be at 61 bucks right now. So the fact that Litecoin isn't at 61 bucks, it's uh, it's uh, it's undervalued right now. So, you know, if it's going to be 10% of Bitcoin, it's undervalued right now by what four bucks so yeah you can make some money on litecoin uh you know because it should be at 61 bucks right now it should be it should be 10 percent of bitcoin since it's the silver of, of of gold right of the bitcoin so it's the silver okay so that's it i think let me run down these uh these names that we don't we haven't we don't look at uh bitcoin cash is down um nem is down BitConnect is now down. It started out as a boom this morning. It was up like 11%. Um, let's see here. Monero, we already went over. IOTA is up a little bit. Uh, Qtum is down. Cardano is down 4%. Cardano is doing really well to have $25 billion in circulation. Oh, man. You would think it would be dumped like crazy, you know, and having like 80% down days with that type of circulation, but it's not um zcash is up lisk is up okay stellar is up eos is still booming back up you know and then making a nice run our coin is trying to turn it's tr you can see that it's trying to make its turn it looks like it's about to make that turn but it's, it's still having uh, some struggles but you can see the turn coming uh steam is at 97 cents not even a dollar uh komodo Okay, up 7%. Vert coin still booming. Uh, Walton coin is booming. Moon, um, uh, Monaco coin is booming. Uh, Populous is down. Factum coin is, is up a little bit. I haven't talked about Factum coin in a while. Um, salt is at 277. If you see salt at 250, you might want to grab some. Um, let's see here. Uh, status is still up again for like the third straight day. Um, what else? Everything else is down. Vertosium is down to 48 bucks. Look, if Vertosium goes, if I see Vertosium, if Vertosium hits like 15 bucks, I, I think, you know, the problem is, is that there's not, there's no, really no exchanges that buy and sell Vertosium unless, unless it's what, Ether Delta or like some of the, like some crazy ones like that. So it, it needs to get on these other exchanges, but these other exchanges don't want it on there. So. You know what I mean? So I don't know how I'm going to be able to get some Vertosium, you know. Um, let's see here. Zcoin. I don't know what anything about that one. Faircoin is still up again today. Loop Ring is up again. Z Zencash is, is up a little bit. ADB Coin is up. Okay. So I know Lim is up. Let me check out uh, Cloak Coin and see how that's doing. And then OK Cash. Let's see how that's doing. Okay. Let me put it in here. There it is. 557 down a little bit and then okay cash this one was hot what happened to okay well i know what happened bitcoin happened <laughs> okay okay cash is at 19 bucks i mean 19 cents okay so like i said before a lot of these a lot of these cryptos looked good until bitcoin happened right <laughs> So if you want to blame anything, you got to blame Bitcoin, because if Bitcoin doesn't make this massive run, you know, that it's been having in the last three months, then these other coins would would have had their massive runs because the money would have been in these old coins. But Bitcoin took over and has taken the shine off the, all the coins. Um, 
And look at the gap, the market gap between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Remember, everybody was saying Ethereum is going to take over Bitcoin and, and the data set said, no, no, that's not going to be happening. Because as soon as everybody, the world says that they're, that they're going to take it over, Bitcoin would rise and just explode and Ethereum would just basically go dull and then have to regroup itself. Right. And that's exactly what happened. So the data sets were out. absolutely remarkable. Right. Um, anyways, um, what else? I was about to tell you guys something, and I can't remember what I was about to say. Wait a minute, Re Regal Coin. What happened to Regal Coin? Why is it not? In it should be in the top. Let me see. Regal Coin. Regal Coin is booming. Seventy-six dollars. I have like fifteen people on my Regal Coin team. I got seventy-seven people on my on my BitConnect team. Regal Coin. I got about seventy, uh, fifteen people. Uh, and no one's made any loans yet, and I haven't either. So uh, I told you guys I'm gonna do it after Seg with two X. Um, so maybe everybody's just gonna wait for you know wait as well until after Seg with two X. That's fine. Um, but I got 15 people on my team, and then Hextra Coin. I got like f over 40 people on my team. I'm not sure how many of you guys have some coins. Um, also. Um, what's the other one? Uh, Electra or something? Electra. That's gonna. That's gonna. That platform is gonna start on November six. Um, and then what's the other ones? Uh, Go Rewards is going to have the second round of their ICO coming soon. I think that's next week. Um, and uh, what's the other one? ETH Connect. I think that is in tomorrow. I think that's tomorrow night. Uh, ETH. ETH uh, ETH Connect, which is F Connect, ETH Connect, whatever you have, you want to pronounce it. That has a lot of buzz on it, a lot of scrutiny and buzz. Uh, I'm going to try to grab some coins regardless. <laughs> okay. Um, what else is there? Um, BitConnect, Electra, ETH Connect. And then, of course, there's that Bit Petite one. But Cliff Hyde did say that that one, that one would be lucky uh, to last till the end of the, uh, by the, you know, going into next year. So, I'm not promoting it. I'm not promoting it just because the data sets say that is it, it it could might not even make it till 2018. So those that are in now, you might be lucky. You know what I mean. So you guys are probably the ones that are going to probably make it to that six weeks, uh, and other people that come in are not going to be lucky probably. So I'm not promoting it any longer. Okay, so I'm not going to do that to people. So those that are in bit petite or what bit petty or whatever it is called, I don't know. I don't know the per, the, uh, the pronunciation for it. Um, uh, don't put your money in that one. The data sets say that it might not make it to January 1st. So those that are already in, you should be good. Okay. So, you know, they, I, I did see an update from them on Twitter that they were updating their uh, site today. But I was trying to log in. And I couldn't log in. But anyway, <laughs> so I did go over to Twitter and saw, saw that. So, um, so don't put your money. I, I am, I'm not, I'm not promoting that. Okay. I'm not promoting that one. So we're just promoting Regal coin. Um, Big Connect, uh, Electra, uh, Hex Hextra, which I think Hextra is gonna do very, very well. I think Crypto Gamer has a bunch of uh, like almost 500 bucks in coins. I think I saw in this video. So I think Crypto Gamer is gonna be turn that into what? Let me see. One dollar, two dollars, four dollars, eight dollars, sixteen, thirty-two. I think sixty-four, one twenty. I think it's gonna go at least one twenty easily. So. Um, you know, if you, you have 500 bucks and he might even buy some more coins. I don't know who, how many people he has on his team. So all together, he, let's say he has a thousand dollars worth of coins and, and it goes seven, it, it goes seven doubles. So let me see it. 2000, 4000, 8000, 16, 32, 64, 100. And then it's got to hold this level. If not, it's going to go even lower. Okay. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, Ethereum classic versus Bitcoin. Uh, almost at a hundred percent, and and look, we we it's in the power zone almost a hundred percent, and it's not moving. So that's a concern. That's a big concern. You know, you run all the way up here, and you're not really moving much from the bottom here. You know, you're basically staying the same. So and you're already in the power zone. So hopefully this thing runs back up here at least to make people some money. But if if not, if it just sticks right here, it's gonna tank. It's gonna go create a new low and continue downwards. Um. Let's look at uh, bit shares, bit shares, same thing. And speaking of um, bit shares and and, uh, and Steam and stuff, I my account on Steam is has been uh, unlocked uh, or unblacklisted. So I am no longer blacklisted from Steam. I can now post and actually make money on Steam now. <laughs> okay. Um, so 
uh, and I don't have that cheetah bot uh, coming on and tough to let me that my, you know, warning, warning about this person. Right. So my account, uh, Patricia got my account back to together on on Steam it. So I will be posting this video and other videos on Steam it. And uh, and yeah, so. Uh, so my account's back to normal on statement, so I'll be able to make a, a one cent, three cents, five cents. I think Champagne uh, hooked me up with some uh, with some steam. I think he gave me five steam today. So, uh, but anyways, let's continue here. Uh, I know a lot of people are powering. I'm also powering down on steaming right now, so I am powering down and collecting my steam. Uh, and I know a whole bunch. I think Craig is Craig Grant's doing the same thing. I'm not. I haven't seen Trayvon on steaming in a while, so I'm not sure. if I did ask him that question. I'm not sure if he's going to answer it or not, but uh, yeah, a lot of people are powering down on Steam it because um, the robots are are messing with us, and also the uh, some other whales, I guess, are not liking uh, people talk about BitConnect or any of the uh, any of the lending platforms that have made people a lots of money. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay, so anyways, it is what it is. You would think decentralized wouldn't be such a problem, but it's more of a problem than actually centralized, unfortunately, right? So maybe I need to, maybe instead of complaining, uh, Craig and others like myself, we, we, we you know, create your own steamant, right? Create your own steamant uh, website, you know what I mean? A decentralized site where you can post whatever, you, people can post whatever they want, get credit for it, downvote, upvote, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't even put a downvote on it. I will just put only upvotes, right? Just keep it positive. So just put an upvote, post what you want, put an upvote on it, and uh, make money. That's what I would do, you know what I mean? It uh, doesn't matter what it is. Just you know, what I mean, if people like it, they'll they'll. If they don't like it, then they don't. They won't like it. You know, they won't upvote it. Um, Dash is sitting here, and uh, you can see there, Dash is right sitting right on the line. So sitting right on the line there of support. And if it holds that, that's a good sign. If it does hold, and uh, it's going to continue, it's going to go higher. Um, but if it if it falls below here, we're going lower until probably after Segwit 2x. I told you guys look back look back at Dash uh, after Segwit 2x. Who is calling me? Okay, this is the second time I've gotten a call when I'm when I'm uh, live. Okay, um, let's. Uh, I think people know that I'm going live and they want to interrupt, so I'm not sure. I think that's kind of disrespectful, right? So anyways, uh, so let's look at Monero. Um, Monero is another good one to hold for next year as well. After Segwit, you might want to hold some Monero as well, especially at these prices, right? So, um, so you got here Monero also holding that support line nicely there. We don't want to see it break that support line. Hold that steady and just bounce off of that and then go higher uh, and then challenge this 30 day moving average there. Um, ETH on bit, and I don't want to look on BT. I don't want to look at ETH on that. I want to look at ETH against the USD, um, because most of you guys hold ETH on Coinbase. You guys don't hold it on these other platforms, so I, I like to use it against uh, the USD instead of Bitcoin. Nothing against Bitcoin looks well, right? But it, against the US dollar bit, like, event, and then everybody dumpster seg with two X for Bitcoin again. That will push it higher, regardless if we're overbought or not. That would push the price in, even higher, right? Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at right there from Cliff High, and let's actually get into uh, the charts, and then we'll look at coin market caps and all the coins that we didn't look at. So here's Bitcoin sitting in here, okay, spinning top here. Um, so we'll see how how we'll see how this plays out. You can see there's a spinning top here, and then we we actually went bearish for a couple of days, and then we then we caught ourselves and then started back up, and then there's the breakout here. So um, yeah, so we'll see how this candle plays out. Uh, we still got some couple of hours before the new candle comes in. So right now we have a spinning top bearish candle. So we'll see how this plays out. And you know, it could we could play out where we uh, spin here and then and then come down a little bit and and then go and then continue higher. Or we could finish this up at the top and then continue higher. I don't know. So we'll see how this plays out. Okay, right now we have a bearish candle, but that can change if people watch the video or see what Cliff High is talking about and people start buying and then we change the candle to a bullish candle, right? Right now we had a spinning top candle, uh, which is a bearish candle. So we'll see how, the, how it plays out. The last couple of weeks, Bitcoin has been actually 
um, you know, dropping during the middle of the week and then getting and then then picking itself back up. So that's been the that's been the uh, theme lately. So you have here a Stratus. We told you guys that Stratus uh, was probably going to make a run up here to this um, 30 day moving average and then test it. And, you know, so we, there was the bottom it was in and there's the breakout there. OK, so um, and he said we had to see a breakout or it's going to continue to go lower. And so it did break out after I yelled at it. Remember, I was yelling at Stratus to get his act to get their act together. And the Bulls heard me loud and clear and they got their act together and they ran it up. And now it's coming back down. So what we want to see it do is not we don't want to see it pat, go past um, this mark right here. You know, five, eight, seven, zero, three. If it passes that, then most likely it's going to come all the way back down 100 percent retrace. And then it's got a hold. Yeah. So let's get started here. It's going to be a quick one. Um, Cliff High, actually, I did go on Instagram and I did do a video, a quick, you know, 60 second video on Instagram uh, telling you guys the latest about Cliff High. Uh, I'm, uh, on Instagram, is Currency365, so you guys can follow me there on Instagram. I will be doing quick videos, one minute videos on there. Uh, you know, when if I feel like something is important, I will let you guys know on Instagram. All right, so, um, so Cliff High has here that... Um, that the uh, latest data sets uh, have Bitcoin hitting, uh, reaching 10,000 by January 1. Now, remember, we also have data sets reaching, uh, Bitcoin reaching 13,000 by March. That could be pushed up now, okay? Um, so we, we could be at 15,000 by March. We, do, we don't know. But right now, the data sets have it, Bitcoin hitting 10,000 by 1118, okay? Um, so you should be holding Bitcoin, as we always say, you should be holding Bitcoin for the Segwit 2X. And if you're not in Bitcoin, you better be in like BitConnect because that is correlation with Bitcoin, right? So you either you're holding BitConnect tokens or you're holding Bitcoin, right? Because, and I, and, and me personally, uh, if you're not going to be lending to the, to on um, BitConnect, then you need to be holding Bitcoin, right? Um, and of course, there's other coins that people are loved and want to hold um, that are going to do very well. Like I told you guys, I believe NEO, OmisoGo, um, Litecoin are going to do very well in 2018, including Dash. Um, and those types of those those coins are going to and Ethereum as, as well, right? Uh, those those coins are going to do very well. Let me repeat that: OmisoGo, NEO. Uh, Litecoin, Dash, and Ethereum. If you're holding those coins as long with Bitcoin and maybe have some BitConnect and Regal coin and stuff like that from the lending platforms, cool. If you got the coins from the lending platforms and you're going to be doing your uh, lending to the bots, that's fine. And then uh, outside of that, if you're holding mostly Bitcoin, you know, and then you have uh, maybe 20% into Litecoin, Ethereum, uh, Dash, uh, Omiso Go, and NEO, you're, you're, you're in great shape for next year, right? So that's, that's basically what we we want we want everybody ready to go for next year because next year cryptocurrency uh, space is going to hit one percent by the summer and and you can already know if the cryptocurrency is going to hit one percent of the world neck by next summer a lot of money's coming in especially after tax season you saw how quickly things rose after tax season last year or this year actually um, so you, you're gonna expect the same thing next year when people have a lot of free money Okay, and also another thing is the reason why we might see ten thousand by the end of the year is because a lot of people are going to get more free money here very soon in the next two weeks with Segwit Two X, uh, and so they're going to be able to use that free money to buy back into Bitcoin and buy Ethereum and buy Litecoin and buy Omiso Go and buy Neo, right? So you're going to have all these people with a lot of free money pouring it back into bitcoin and into uh into other cryptocurrencies okay so that's also going to pump the markets up as well uh and and bring bitcoin into uh ten thousand so as you guys can see here and, and I, while i was talking hopefully you guys already read all this while i was talking that's why i usually go on my little spat there so you guys can go ahead and read it while i'm talking but anyways if you didn't um he says here that um uh, 6888 is going to be coming up soon, and then um, from there, we'll probably go higher. Um, it says working on the, uh, on the data sets. He says uh, uh, working on the data sets. Uh, reconciliation shows 40% drop in Bitcoin. Language has manifested. Uh, likely no repeat at 6888. Okay, so he's saying that 40% that, that drop has already happened. 
uh, or has already manifested itself. So now when we hit 6888A, there probably won't be an, another huge drop. Uh, it's probably going to continue. Uh, it's going to probably stay around that range and then continue higher to the 10,000 mark. So we'll see if that happens or not. Uh, it all depends on the charts, right? At the time that we're if we're overbought at 6888, then I think we will we will see a little bit of a correction, and then maybe uh, and then stabilize and then continue up. But it all depends on when we hit 6888, and is it at the segue?